Hey there, welcome to today's vlog. I am sitting in the IKEA parking lot waiting for a click and collect at the moment. I had to make a special trip in today for an appointment. As many of you know, if you've been watching, I have actually had a mole removed. Last week I got a phone call telling me that that mole was melanoma. So I am currently en route to see a plastic surgeon because I have to have more of that spot removed due to the fact that it was cancerous. It's been an interesting couple of days because I've actually been kind of struggling mentally and emotionally because Bailey's going through a really rough time right now. Um, uh, if you are new here, Bailey is our oldest daughter. She lives with us. She has struggled with chronic pain and has had a really hard go of things for the last five years and she has been in a really rough spot and really struggling and it has been really hard it is just hard as a parent to watch your child go through that so then to get this news it was totally unexpected kind of hard to hear and now it is just finding out how much of my arm has to be removed not my arm that makes it sound really serious Melanoma is serious. If you have moles that you're worried about, go see a dermatologist. Don't mess around with it. Upon having this issue, I've discovered just how serious it really can be. And it's just more skin has to be removed around it. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm headed in here. As soon as I get my IKEA order, I will go up to a plastic surgeon and find out exactly what my next steps are and start prepping for that. And the procedure, the surgery will be done within the next couple of weeks. I stopped for a treat on the way home. Our favorite cookie store has key lime cookies in, and they're one of my favorites. And I deserve a treat. <laughs> I went to see the doctor, and he said that the good news is that my melanoma was just surface, that it wasn't a huge level of concern. It's actually the lowest level, which is a blessing. So on Friday, I will go in for surgery. I have to have three millimeters around the site removed and then all the way down to the fatty tissue of my arm which I'm not looking forward to but I also have so much to be thankful for um, I won't lie I will say that this has been concerning it's been scary actually and then of course those thoughts start pressing on you this is the second cancer scare that I have had in less than a year it makes you realize that you're not invincible it kind of can make you feel old if you're not careful it makes you I don't know, just think twice about life and what's important and trying to keep that perspective because you realize it's not forever and that everything is just temporary. And I'm so thankful that I have faith in God to carry me through because there have been some pretty dark days just dealing with the stuff with Bailey, but then on top of it, my own health stuff has definitely been a challenge. And now talking to this doctor, I realized that it's really important for my kids to watch any moles that they have. And they are actually quite a lot more moly than I am. <laughs> I'm, moly. I'm not a moly person. Now I have to follow up with my dermatologist every six months. Hopefully that's not a forever thing. Hopefully we'll, you know, we won't see anything else and it won't be a big deal. This isn't something that you want to have to keep repeating. So right now, I'm going to focus on being thankful because of the fact that it could have been a lot worse. I'm at the lowest risk and this shouldn't be a huge deal to be removed. So surgery in a, just a couple of days actually because they rushed this through really quickly. The plastic surgeon who is doing it was a really nice guy. Just explained everything, took all the time that he needed to and I felt very informed and empowered to go ahead with this. It definitely alleviated a lot of the worries and concerns that have come to my mind. So I'm telling you again, guys, if you don't go to a dermatologist, go to a dermatologist if you have any type of moles or anything like that that you are just kind of curious about or any type of abnormally shaped moles, it's a good idea to get them checked out. And I will definitely be pushing my kids and my husband to do the same just because I didn't realize how quickly melanoma could go bad and it's just so, so important. That's not, if it's preventable, why go there? In a couple of days, I will go in and I will get this chunk removed, have some stitches, have to be careful for three or four weeks and then life will go on. We've got this, We've got to get this arm healed up before our grandson arrives because I want to hold that baby. So I'm kind of glad that we can get it done quick because I want to be able to hold that baby and not worry about stitches in my arm. <laughs> 